The first two cards that I'm going to look at is the energy that you are bringing into the month. You have Two of Cups reversed and the Hermit. So there was a relationship that you were having with another person. There was a strong bond of uh, camaraderie, a love, a friendship. And right now it's it's in the reversal. There's conflicts, there's problems, there's, there's issues that need to be addressed. And you may need to take some time out with each other. And that's the energy you are bringing into the month of August. And the um, hermit is where you are going inwards. You are taking some time out for yourself. Like I said, you need to address some issues, some, some beliefs, some opinions, some thoughts and feelings internally that you need to look at and you need to find that inner light. You need to reassure yourself about your own intuition and the direction that you want to go at this time. What is crossing you is the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Emperor. So what's crossing you is at this time you're not very financially independent. You're having, you want to be, you want to be financially independent. You want to enjoy the fruits of your labor. And this could be one of the issues that you're looking at. The situation is the struggling with the finances and your environment right now. You want to be able to enjoy the finer stuff, the nice clothes, the nice pets, the nice home, the luxurious stuff, and they have some, some nice things. And everybody wants that. And there is somebody around you that is very strong, very like the emperor, they are very opinionated, but you you realize that they usually are correct. They are a person that a lot of people will go to for help, assistance, and they are very confident and and they dress that way, they act that way, they are that way. And these are this is your situation that is actually blocking you blocking this relationship and why you are doing soul searching at this time. What's beneath the surface in your subconscious? You have the Eight of Swords and Judgment. You feel you are trapped. You are trapped either by your obligations, your responsibilities, possibly family, friends, or maybe even to your job. You feel mentally that you are trapped and you can't move on because maybe it's a moral issue that you feel morally obliged to not move on yet or it's not the right thing to do. So this is in your subconscious and it's not physically, you are not physically detained. You are able to leave. You are able to get through these swords. You just need to look at things in a different perspective. And if this is on your subconscious level, that means you're not consciously aware that you even feel this way in regards to this, whatever the situation is. First, you have to consciously acknowledge it and then look at ways to remove the swords, to remove the bondage and what is holding you back and trapping you at this time. And you are in the process of, of having a rebirth, having this phoenix rising from the ash. You are, you are um, very strong spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and you are, you are starting to flower. You are starting to have that metamorphosis. And that's on your subconscious level. You are, are completely aware of these two situations going on at this time. What you are leaving behind in the past is the King of Cups and the Star. So there was a, either, either this is you were acting very very emotional 
and very um, strategic with your emotions and the way you handled situations. And you had a focus on what it was you were going to do. Or this could be somebody around you, a water sign, which is a, a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer sign. Either way, this you aren't as focused as you were or as uh, manipulative with your emotions as you were in the past. And what is above you on your conscious level? You have the Princess of Cups and the Death card. So you do have an offer of love sitting there and that you are pondering, and you consciously acknowledge it. But you are in the process, like I said, subconsciously, you are on this phoenix rising from the ash. You are on this rebirth. You're not aware of how close you are on this rebirth, but you consciously know that there are some things, some beliefs, some attitudes, something internally within yourself that needs adjustment, that you need to look at things differently. You need to change your perspective on it. And this is what you're consciously aware of, the love, and that you are making personal adjustments and, and deaths within yourself. And you're replacing them with new births, new beliefs, new attitudes, new outlook. In your soon-to-be future, probably by the end of August, you have the Six of Cups reversed and the Seven of Cups. You have, you no longer are dwelling on your past, dwelling and, and living in the past. You no longer are focused on the way things used to be. You are letting things go. You are letting things live and let live and moving on to the present. You are looking at your current situation where you have a lot of choices you need to make. Some of these choices may be illusion, some may be reality, but you need to make some decisions and choices soon because they may not be there forever. The way you see yourself, you see yourself as the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. You see yourself as having a lot of passion, a lot of desire, and you're moving fast. You're moving really fast. You may be actually traveling or going on vacation. And there is some some process, some way of being that you have been for the last like eight years that you are walking away from. You realize that your old life is no longer valid and you are starting this new journey. The way others see you at this time is the world reversed and the chariot. So they see you as being morally victorious. Whatever stand you took, you were right. You were very right and righteous. So this is the way others see you. They see that um, you were correct and you won the victory. and But they see that you aren't taking that next step into your into your life, the maturity. You aren't taking that next process that you should be at this time. Your hopes and fears is Three of Cups reversed and the High Priestess. So you're afraid that you won't get to celebrate and have fun with friends, probably because you have that... that um, that financial, right here, what's crossing you is your finances. You're not financially sufficient at, or self-sufficient at this time. And you may be living from paycheck to paycheck. And that's the reason you're not able to go out and celebrate as much. And that's your, your fear is that you won't get to have that camaraderie and friends and celebration with your friends and family. Your hope is that your intuition is spot on. Your hope is that you will be correct in your gut feelings because we can never truly see exactly what's going to happen in the future. 
we can we can get our intuition, our gut instincts, and go with that. And that's what you need to do. And you're hoping that you're right on. The final outcome, you have the alchemist, which is the magician, and seven of spirals, or seven of wands. So things are a little, a little um, turbulent for you. Maybe because you don't have as much finances as you want at this time. So you're hunkering down. You're, you're um, laying low, like staying at your place. Like this bear is staying in his cave. It could be a man cave. You're just hunkering down for, for a little while. It could be a week. It could be the whole month. But the final outcome is that that's the course you are taking. And you are at this time trying to manifest your new life, your new direction. You're trying to manifest certain things that you want to happen in your life, into your life. You're, you could be hunkering down so you don't waste money and you're able to finance this new way of life. You have the, the support. You have everything else needed, the emotion, the strength. The, the time, the energy, whatever it is you need. So it looks like you're going the right course. You're, you're starting a new direction in your life. Your old life has ended, and pretty soon your friends and family will see the world flip up, upside, so it's right up. Because it looks to me like by the end of the month, you are going to be going taking that next step into your life, that next phase. 